talking with Coyote Volleyball Junior Defensive Specialist, Lauren Sauer. Lauren, thanks for joining us today. Yes. Big weekend for the Coyotes. What was the atmosphere like for you on the court during this uh, home court tournament this past weekend? Yeah, I thought it was really, really fun. All of our fans really got involved and excited in the game, um, which really propelled us along. And it was great to see so many people come out and support us in our first home tournament. And like always, I mean, we love to stay home and we love to play in this arena. What was the big key to turn around beating Cal on Friday night and having to get right back up again to play Cornell Northern Colorado on Saturday? Yeah, um, so of course we like took the night to really enjoy that win. Beating a Pac-12 team is great um, no matter what, but kind of right away we shifted our focus onto our next match. Um, and that morning we woke up ready to go and it was only about Northern Colorado. We didn't talk about like everything that happened the night before, but just moved on um, while really just taking the confidence gained from Cal and trying to put that into Northern Colorado. How big was the resiliency of this team show? not only in the California match when you had to fight it to the end of every set, but to come back in Northern Colorado after dropping a second set and gutting out a win. Yeah, I think that um, really we just knew that that set that we dropped was not our best volleyball, and we knew that we had to make a change. So it was really great. Um, we all kind of seemed to just look at each other and know that all of the hours we spend in the gym are really going to pay off, and I think it was a great show of what this team can do. For a while now, had a huge accomplishment as an individual <laughs> over the weekend, a thousand digs. What does that mean to you? Um, like everything, it's um, it's a really cool milestone, and I'm like really happy that I achieved it in my career here. But I would say, like definitely, winning conference my sophomore year was um, a little like it felt a lot better to me than something an individual does, just because um, like I wouldn't get those digs without my teammates and. Like looking forward to this year, I was never focused on hitting a thousand digs or anything like that. But um, I just try and go in and do my job and take what I'm given every day. Was it a bigger physical hurdle or mental hurdle coming back after not being able to play last season? Uh, definitely a bigger mental hurdle. Um, physically, I had one of the easiest knee rehabs I've ever heard of. So um, there were definitely physical hurdles that I did have to come over like it just felt like I was moving so slow all the time and get, just getting my quickness back and being able to recognize the things that I always recognized um, since I started playing volleyball but mentally it's just a totally different feeling when you're on the sidelines versus when you're actually playing on the court um, and you can you can just see the game very differently when you're sitting off and you can see all these pieces and then as soon as you're on there again you have to remember um, just how fast everything goes, how to move through the ball, and uh, really just the player that you have to be. Was it easier this, this past weekend, week two, rather than week one, coming back onto the court? Um, it, it's definitely easier, which might be partly because we were at home. And the first weekend, there was definitely a lot of like excitement and adrenaline and um, just even like simple things like hearing my name announced um, while it's a different last name is still, it's still a pretty cool feeling. Uh, just getting to play and getting to have fun. Um, I definitely missed competing, especially in the spring, just with uh, trying to come back, getting all those hours of practice, but uh, kind of missing out on that last half of showcasing what you have. So um, it was great to be home and it, it feels normal and comfortable now. The first week felt still a little like novel and new um, and now it's kind of routine and like this is who I am again. Speaking of uh, the new last name, a big <laughs> off season for you, I mean, I mean overcoming the injury but you get married, I mean obviously that's been a pr pretty big year for you. Yep, <laughs> yeah it was a very busy summer, um, had a lot of life changes, got a dog, <laughs> got a husband and yeah it's been, it's been great. How has the support, I mean not only from your husband but your family been through this whole injury process yeah, they're, they've always been there for me, like really willing to do anything. Like one of my parents is at almost every game and the other one is watching online. Like there's so much support coming from them. Um, I know that it made them really happy to see me out there again. And um, it was just, so. there's so many people that I couldn't have gone through that without. Um, and 
I'm just really thankful for everyone who was around me to just really pick me up when I was down and keep pushing me. Through two weeks of the season, the Cows are five and one. Lauren, what have you seen from this group that, that tells you, hey, we can make a push and, and get to where our goal yeah. is going to be at the end of the league? Yeah. Um, I've mostly seen a lot of improvement and a lot of team. Um, so it feels like uh, this year is unique in that everyone really just is there for one another and um, our goals as a team are so prominent. So we focus on that and we understand that the lineup is going to change. People, different people have different strengths and weaknesses. So um, the best people are going to be out on the court and we all trust in one another so much that that will get us to where we want to go.